Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about the filters and flex utility. Uh, there's been a few people who, who are curious about um, exactly how the process goes uh, in the app. So we're going to try to explain that and make it fairly quick, hopefully. Um, okay, so on the left we have representation of the Amazon Flex app. Um, and we have our tap button. Um, and on the right, we have set our filters to the station code filter we've set to DPS1. The hours filter we've set to four and three. Um, and in the F Amazon Flex app, we have two blocks. At the top, we have a three hour. Uh, and underneath that, we have a four hour block both containing the same station code. Okay? So here's what's gonna happen when using that. You press the tap button and then Flex Utility is going to look here and it's gonna see that there's a block. Okay? And it's going to then, because there is a block, it's going to look here on this line where the station code is. And it's going to ask, does this line contain this station code that we've set in station code filter? And that condition is true. It does. So we're going to move on to the hours filter. And first, the Flex Utility app is going to check this value. And it's going to look at this line here. And it's going to say, does this block on this line contain um, this number. Not true. That condition is not true. Um, but since we have a three as well, it's going to check again after the four, it's going to check the three. Does this line on this block contain a three? True. Which means because both those conditions are true in our filters, we select this block. The Flex Utility app clicks on this block. And then uh, you'll move down and swipe left. And hopefully you'll get a uh, this block. Uh, hopefully you'll get a green banner at the top saying you accepted a block. Um, so as you can see, uh, Flex Utility, because both the conditions here were true, uh, both these conditions on this first block, it never did move down to um, the second one. It never even looked at it because the conditions up here were true to our filters that we've set. So it went ahead and selected this three hour because it met our conditions. Um, <clears throat> so basically what that means is um, just because you put a four first in the hours filter and a three after, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get fours, four hour blocks over three hour blocks um, because the app is gonna check from top to bottom in the Amazon Flex app. Um, but let's say we, let's say in Flex Utility we, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we just have a four. So flex utility, we go to the hours filter and we just put a four. And we tell flex utility we only want to accept blocks that have this station code and that is this many hours long. Um, and then we go to Amazon Flex, we click the tap button, and what's going to happen? We're going to assume both these blocks are still up. Um, it's going to check here again because this is the top. And it's going to check the station code first. It's going to look on this line and ask, does this line and this block contain this station code? That's true. Um, then it's going to move to the hours filter. And it's going to look at this line. Does this line and this block contain this number? false. This line on this block does not contain a 4. 
it contains three. So it's going to move on down the list to the second block. Assuming that it's there, assuming that there is a second block, in our, in our uh, scenario there is, it's going to, again, check the station code on this block. Does this line on this block contain this station code? That condition is true. Then it's going to move to the hours filter. Does this line on this block contain this number? That condition is true. And just like before, Flex Utility is going to accept this block and then, or it's going to select it. You move on to the next screen in Amazon Flex and swipe. Uh, simple as that, really. And all of that happens super quickly within Flex Utility. Basically, um, right after you press tap, all of that stuff happens. It goes, uh, checks all the, checks all, checks for a block, looks at the filters. If there's another one, it'll check it. The, compare the filters to the block. And if conditions are true in any of the blocks, it's going to select it and swipe. All of it happens very quickly so that hopefully you'll get the block and you can go to work. Uh, yeah, so, and we also have time filter now, which checks, which adds an additional check, um, and it looks here. So let's say in the time filter, you have, uh, you put 1230, or one, um, it's just an additional check on this line for each block. To see if the condition's true in your time filter. Um, so I hope that kind of sums it up of how the filters work. Um, just to summarize, um, there is no prioritization uh, per se because just because you put a four first and then a three after doesn't mean you're gonna get fours over threes um, because it's gonna check from top to bottom. And if any block meets your conditions, if any block is true on your filters, it's gonna select it regardless of the order. Um, really what matters most is the order that blocks are showing up within Amazon Flex. So if you say, for example, uh, the fours at the top. Oops. Uh, yeah, if the four was at the top and the three was at the bottom, then the four hour block would get selected first because it's going to be checked first. Okay. But if the four hour, let's say, uh, in your hours filter, you don't have a four, then the four hours not going to be selected. So it's a little confusing to explain, but I hope uh, that kind of sums it up a little bit. Appreciate it. Thank you.